the person was hospitalized for COVID-19 and they did require care in a ICU or other critical care uh, setting. They have now recovered and are at home. They received blood thinning, in thinning injections while they were in the hospital. And Stephanie, I'm gonna ask you, should they also be receiving these blood thinners when they are at home? And if so, for how long do you think they should be getting them? So patients who um, require intensive care uh, unit um, visits, so these are only really a, a minority of patients um, who have uh, COVID-19, about uh, 5% that have the, the more serious life-threatening infection. Um, and need uh, ICU care. Um, and those are the patients that are considered at very high risk. Um, and obviously you want to try and prevent uh, blood clots in these uh, patient groups. And um, as Jim mentioned, in some cases, you know, uh, what the appropriate dose is, is certainly um, an intense question of uh, research and investigation. But once patients have recovered enough um, to go home, really the healthcare team will look at uh, whether or not um, they still are, are at risk. And some of the sickest patients who recover may uh, very well be at increased risk. Um, so they may benefit from continuing the blood thinner when they, um, when they go home. And generally it's for um, several weeks, up to about four weeks after discharge from hospital. And again, the healthcare team will decide, you know, what the best um, uh, medication is as well as the appropriate uh, dose. So it certainly is a consideration for all patients, but all people will not need it. It's something that, again, should be discussed with the healthcare team at the time of discharge from hospital.